Hello and welcome guys, we are almost done with our emotional skills training and today in particular we're gonna talk about tolerating difficult emotions. This is also a separate skill that can be developed. Our tolerance for discomfort in general is very, very useful in many life situations. Um, tolerance for discomfort can be developed in many different ways. Like even if you do exercises and you are used to working out, it already increases your tolerance for discomfort. The more you practice uh, tolerating uncomfortable feelings, the more you practice tolerating discomfort, the easier it becomes for you and it kind of spreads all on all of your life sphere. But tolerating difficult emotions, what it means? It means that you can just feel your emotions, not do anything like to, to, to fix them and not uh, think anything in particular. You can just be with your emotions, tolerate them, same way as you would tolerate headache or tolerate feeling sick or something like that. So we can just tolerate our difficult emotions. Most likely this is enough. If we just allow ourselves not to think about anything, not to try to fix anything, not to try to think our feelings, instead if we just allow ourselves to be with our emotions and to just stay with it for a while, our emotions are most likely to go away very soon. It's very common that our emotions just go away. Uh, they are kind of fluid, like water, um, you know, like wave of emotion comes and then it goes. So, however, there are other exercises that you can do. Uh, first exercise that can make you use to tolerate discomfort in general and especially uncomfortable emotions is uh, doing exposition in imagination. I have a separate video about it called uh, Towards Discomfort. You do this and you imagine unpleasant sensations of this emotion in your body, in your heart you know, in your um, mind and you just stay with it and use this towards discomfort exercise. I won't explain much in detail, I have a separate video about it, please check it out. So this is what you can do. Next what you can do, you can um, practice some kind of physical exercise and tell to yourself that emotions are basically the same. What you can do, for example, each day you make a plank exercise, like standing in a plank and paying attention, not thinking about anything else, but paying attention to how your muscles are burning and telling to yourself that my muscles are burning and that's fine. I'm paying attention to this and my feelings are just like these muscles burning. I can tolerate them. So basically here the idea is that you do the plank, you focus on your muscles burning and you connect this experience to tolerance of emotions. And this way you make your body and mind used to tolerating discomfort. Unfortunately, we can never avoid discomfort in life and we need to be able to tolerate it because it's part of human condition. So we just train it. We just train it just like we hold planks and after some time it becomes easy after like a month. <laughs> uh, if we tolerate emotions and different uncomfortable uh, feelings, we also become used to it. Another way that you can help yourself uh, in tolerating emotions is um, muscle relaxation. I will make a separate video about it in my uh, stress resistance uh, course. Um, separate training program so please check it out if it's not yet made you can check it on the internet but basically any body relaxation especially um, relaxation when you tense your body and then relax tense and then relax all of the body uh, muscles group uh, this helps uh, lower the intensity of your emotions and helps tolerate difficult emotions what also you can do in order to tolerate your difficult emotions is connect them with your motivation, goals and values. 
because um, as I said discomfort is unavoidable in life we can never avoid discomfort discomfort is always with us what we can do is only choose what is worth tolerating discomfort for so what we can do we can choose what is valuable enough for us to tolerate discomfort and this is uh, the way to deal with it we cannot avoid discomfort but we can choose what is important enough to tolerate discomfort and when you're feeling difficult emotions and you are learning your learning to tolerate them you can remind yourself what is the reason why you are doing it what is your goal like for example if you are uh, quitting smoking and you're tolerating physical discomfort of not smoking what is your goal maybe you want to survive and live longer to see your grand-grandchildren maybe you want to live longer because you just love living and you don't want to die soon <laughs> maybe you quit smoking because um you don't want to support uh, horrible companies that make money uh, on ruining our air and somebody's health so pay attention to your values to your goals to what is important for you and instead of trying to avoid discomfort tell yourself that discomfort is needed in order to achieve those goals and go towards those goals so um this is more or less that mm, yeah and the um, another rule for difficult emotions is that we do not avoid them we go towards them just like in my technique uh, towards discomfort i really recommend you do it so this will be your home task practicing those uh, skills practicing tolerating difficult emotions you can do first of all towards discomfort exposition in imagination separate video about that secondly you can do a plank or any other difficult physical exercise and tell your brain all the time that this is basically the same as tolerating difficult emotions holding a plank is the same as tolerating fear as tolerating anxiety and so on um so this kind of teaches you to tolerate it you can also i don't know take cold shower and tell yourself that this is the same as tolerating sadness or something and this way you train your brain to tolerate it next what you can do you can do different meditations you can also use muscle relaxation when you tense your muscles and relax tense and relax of different muscle groups i will have separate video about this later and then you can also go towards the discomfort and not avoid it and explain to yourself why you need it so connect it to your values and goals and all of this together creates our skill of tolerating difficult emotions but again um, none of those skills just get developed after watching one one video you need to actually practice it regularly because your brain is a physical organ it doesn't change just from watching one thing you need to practice something again and again and again and again and then your brain forms neural connections and you can actually use the skill when you need it so yeah you need to practice several times before you are able to actually uh, tolerate difficult emotions in real life when they are actually happening so good luck with your practice. Please let me know how it goes in the comments and I will see you soon. Bye bye.